All right, so we've got some peripherals to hook up here, uh, printer and such. So we're going to need a uh, serial cable. Now I found this cable, and uh, well, it's a nice nine pin cable that I need, but I still have nine wires on the other side. The idea is now trying to figure out which wire is which, and that can be kind of frustrating because I only need three of them transmit, receive, and ground, and rather than uh, wire and unwire all the different combinations of this, uh, there's an easy way to sort of figure out what it is, uh, which one goes to which pin on here. Uh, so we'll just show you how to do that real quick. So we've got my voltmeter, and now I've got my leads here, but I've got one uh, lead in particular that I'm just going to swap this out with to make life a little bit easier for me as we're doing this. That's this fella right here. If you don't have one of these, it's always a good idea. Um, I recommend it. It's got a little uh, little push button plunger with a hook on it, so I can uh, I can hang on to these wires real easily with one side. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up this purple one because I got no idea which pin is purple. And then what I want to do is I'll turn on my meter and I'm going to go to my ohms for my resistance measurement and some meters have the ability to for a continuity make a sound a, a tone and then what I can do is with my other connection here I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to touch each of the pins and I got nothing I got nothing nothing there nothing there nothing on that one Nothing there. Oh, so now I got a tone. So that tells me that the purple wire that I'm connected to on this end is associated with this particular pin. And that's pin 7. Uh, and I can see that because it's marked on the inside of the, of the connector there. But I need pins 2, 3, and 5 to make my serial connection transmit, receive, and ground. So I know that purple's not going to be one of the ones I need. Um, let's try this brown one here. Clip onto that. Make sure we got a good connection on that. There we go. And then let's go through and find out which one is the brown one. All right. Oh, it's right here, this very first one. So that's pin one. I don't need brown. Let's try red. Hook on to that. Ah, red is pin two. So I know that's one of the ones I'm going to need. And so I can just go ahead and, and repeat this process with each of the wires and testing uh, to find out which tone is which. So then I know which color goes with which pin. Now, if you happen to have a meter that doesn't have uh, a tone generator, you're still going to use the resistance measurement for ohms but what you have to look for very carefully so we'll hook on the green wire this time is when I touch the pins because there is no continuity from the green to pin one here it's open so there's absolutely no reading on this it's an open line there's no connection between the two if I have a connection all the way from the pin to the wire, I'm going to be able to measure resistance in the wire. So I'm going to measure there, there, nothing, there, nothing. Ah, look, I got some movement on the display. So that tells me, even though there's no tone, that that's the wire that goes with that pin.